Welcome back to another episode of Patch It. If you were with us last time, you kind of saw us sort of start to build up this patch. Uh, just a brief sort of uh, run through of what the goal is here. Uh, we're just kind of running through in a large scale modular system, uh, trying to fill up a few of these uh, modules here. We're trying to fill up the A138 polarizing mixer with some sound over here, the A135 here in the center with some sound material, the A138 uh, here in the center and then here on top, and then of course the A188-2 tapped BVD module, as well as our track and hold switch over here. So we still have quite a bit to, of ground to cover, so let's just go ahead and jump right in and continue. We'll go for about another 15 minutes and then see where we are and then go into the next part. So. Let's go in and maybe, let's add a beat by now, why not? I did some tests prior to this just so I could see if I still knew how to make a beat. Uh, so let me see, which one of these do I want to use? And I'm just going to use um, one of these guys that I can run into self-oscillation. Trying to remember which one was the one that sounded really, really good. So let's just try this one, the dial low pass. I'm going to take the audio out. Run that into there. I should just get like a really resonant sign. There we go. So now I'm just going to take a gate out. And just take this divide four output. shape that a little bit. Actually, let me change the output there. And just run some sound material in there so I can have a little something going in. that for a filter. So let me try a different one. Let's try the Vectral Low Pass Gate. So let me take my gate output over here. I think I was using this one. Take that, go into my A101-2. And that is going down here. That's a decent little kick, I guess. Hopefully that won't dive you too crazy. Now let me try to add some sound material in there and see if that helps a little bit. bit more abrasive than I wanted it. Bring it down a little bit. We'll just use that as a percussive element for now. So since I have that going, why don't we actually try and create some other percussion as well, like maybe a hi-hat. So I have my digital noise over here. Here we go. So let's take that out, and I think I need to go into a VCA. I think I have one right here. There we go. And then let me take this. Okay, digital noise is going in there. Take the output over here. Go up over here. 
And I need something to shape that with. So what I'm going to do is take... I'm actually just going to take my clock. Let's try this cable, see if it's long enough. Just going right over here. And going right in there. Patched in the wrong output. Careful with that. Nice little percussion effect. Let me try a different shade of noise there. Yeah, not bad. Alright, now I'm going to even take this envelope, I don't know if this will work, but I'm going to take this envelope and add it as a secondary modulation source here to that VCA. That worked out nicely. Alright, now let's do a little bit more work. And let's actually start working on the A188-2. So for this, I'm going to actually take my one output from my A135 and go into my VVD over here. And actually, no, I take that back. I'm going to take my one output over here and I'm going to go into this sequential switch. And I'm going to take that output from the switch and then go over into the VVD. This one might take a little bit of time to develop. Let me start getting some outputs over here. Let's see, what can I get? Well, let me just take the saw here. Go into the second input of the switch. And then let me take, let's just try the six oscillator noise. Coming from there and go into that input there. And let's see what else we got take the... still got a triangle down here, so let's take that. Go into the fourth input. Okay, now I just need something to trigger that switch. So I'm going to take the... Let's take the 16 division. I think I have the switch set to three steps. Let's set it over to four. Only one of those I don't like is actually that six oscillator sound. So let me take that out. So I'm gonna actually go out from a filter, maybe the WASP filter, or actually, let me take that out. So let's actually take that output. Let me get some more longer cables for what I have in mind here. I'm going to take the output of two. I'm going to go up into my bit crusher. And then from the output there, I'm going to go over into number three input right there. Wait till that comes around. Not quite impressive right there, so let's try it back over here. Let me get that to move. When it gets on three, I'll stop it. Just so I can dial in this patch. Okay, I like that. Now, let's see what I do with my cable. There we go. Now let's trigger that switch again. All 
All right, so far so good. All right. So now, see I have plenty of options down here. Let's, let me try to start using the max min over here. So I'm gonna take one of these outputs and go up into the max min right here. Go to input one. And then I'm gonna patch out from there, just so I can start to um, hear what that is coming out of there. I'm going over here to the polarizing mixer, just so I can hear it. Yeah, not bad. Now, let me get some something different we haven't done before. Let me get one of these, maybe mid-range, LFOs. Patch that into input three of the maxman. And then on this one, I'll take it in the low setting. Patch it over here. Not liking that min so much. I'm not really hearing much there. Let's try the max out. Adjust that a little bit. Okay, let me do another audio rate signal in there. So I'm gonna take one of these and go right into here. There we go. Turn this up a little so I can hear it. Okay, still not hearing it too well, so solo it for a second just so I can kind of hear it Let me also try and do some maybe frequency modulation at the same time. So let me see where I can do an output from here. Actually just take this sine wave and then just go right into this VCO. And actually do a little bit of control over it. Yeah, that's good. And bring back the rest of it. Small change, but made somewhat of a difference in the background. Okay, so we're making quite a bit of progress. We got this mixer filled. We need to start on this one. We haven't really gotten back to this yet, so I have the switch set up and it's going over here. Start adjusting some of these guys. Trying to dial in a nice little BBD sound. So let's actually solo that. else in. Bring this level down a little bit. All 
right, let me just adjust a little bit. Take a look at what we got so far. So we have our top mixer filled so far. We got our switch over here filled, switch over here filled. Have not touched this track and hold switch yet. Uh, we do have sound going into our tapped BBD, but we don't have any modulation going on there yet. So that might be something we might want to add. So I know we're getting close on time. Yeah, I think that's going to be a good stopping point for this segment. So hopefully you found this useful and hopefully this is kind of interesting going through and sort of hearing and watching you know, the process of just kind of putting things together kind of uh, relatively quickly. Um, in the next segment, we're just going to kind of pick up where we left off, which is going to be sounding like this. Um, and then we'll go a little bit further. We still have a little bit of ground to cover with our A138 mixer here, our track and hold switch. We haven't worked on it all. Our polarizing mixer. We only have one input over there. Uh, and then, yeah, we might do a little bit of change, change ups here and then kind of fine tuning of our patch. So please stay tuned for that and keep on patching out there.